Ladies and gentlemen, the advanced craft is here. This mod pack comes up with 217 different mods and 7 resource packs. With built-in shaders, custom sky, sound pack and font, it's designed to make you forget how the regular Minecraft feels like. With every aspect of the game being advanced, this is where the name comes from by the way, you are about to experience one of the greatest mixes of nostalgia, myths, RPG, adventure and much more in one mod pack. Our first major mod is Mahou Tsukai. This mod contains magic, spells and stuff that are able to destroy a mountain in seconds. This mod is inspired by an old anime and is the perfect adaptation to it, resulting in perfect visual effects, weather changes, power, abilities and much more. Our third major mod is the Doom-like Dungeons. This mod adds a variety of dungeons with awesome loot, risks for the experience and levels and maybe even armor. Combined with dynamic surroundings, combined with the dynamic surroundings mod and advanced craft sound pack, the dungeons are an exclusive experience in the entire mod pack. But if you're unlucky, you may encounter mutant beasts that can sweep you out in minutes. Next up, we have the fancy sky resource pack. This resource pack adds a custom sky to the overworld thus changing your experience drastically. You no longer see some empty sky with some square clouds. This resource pack fixes everything. My favorite part about it is the night, because at this point the game just feels like a movie that you can control and observe. Next up, we have the Fairlands mod. Have you ever wondered how will this experience feel like? Simply amazing, right? Now, you don't need to switch between versions of 1.20 and beta to see them. In this mod pack, you can see them in creative, any world you like to see. You are going to encounter them on about 12,560,000 blocks away from the spawn on X and Z. Coming up next, we have Ice and Fire. This one is my favorite mod, fighting multiple mythical creatures, making the game feel harder, and it adds the most overpowered armor into the game, which is called Dragonsteel. With long sword, with long sword dealing 42 damage and having the durability of 20,000, and the armor having a minimum of 30 locational armor points and minimum of 5000 durability is probably gonna motivate some people for the grind. But what's the point of power when you're so slow and boring? That's right, because our seventh mod is Trinkets. This mod has a variety of races, bubbles and abilities each race having their own unique abilities and only some of them being able to fly. There we have the Dragon Race. This race is really OP, just like Dragon Steel. You gain fire resistance, more health points, armor and strength and speed. On top of that, you're able to fly for 100 seconds. The starter mana is 400, whereas the max mana is 10,000. For comparison, RL Craft has 500 max mana, so yeah, it's really a big thing that you need about 960 mana crystals to reach that max number.
I've talked a lot about power and races, right? Don't worry, don't think of what shader is going to be perfect for the modpack because we have already built an Optifine and BSL shaders. Don't worry if your PC can't hold it. You can always change the properties of it in the settings. It's that simple and you have it already before you even realize it. And finally, our two last major mods are Mousy's Mobs, I think that's the name, and Rescalable. Rescalable adds, an, adds item requirements to use them. For example, you need 36 defense level to use Dragon Steel, so it's really expensive but worth it. And Mousy's Mobs adds lots of mini bosses that you can fight for unique, okay, for unique abilities. One is stronger, other requires you to think in order to defeat it. So don't think that it's all about power in this mod pack. And that's it! The download link is in the description on Crystal Launcher. If it expires, I'm going to update it. You need Crystal Launcher to be already installed in order to play this modpack. Have a nice day!